Well, welcome back to the channel. Um, I haven't been out for quite a while, but um, today I've come down to a little village in Kent called Chillum and uh, found a little circular walk I'm going to try and do. It takes in a bit of the village of Chillum, um, a bit of the fishing lakes and uh, some woodlands apparently. Now, keep an eye out or keep a listen out on this vlog. I'm using some music for this, uh, which was kindly given to me by a local band who's allowed me to use the music for the vlog. A band called Argyle, a four-piece band. Jake, Courtney, Toby and Steve. Um, really, really good band. Uh, they play some covers, but they also do a lot of original stuff. They write their own music. Um, they do a few live sessions on Facebook. They've got Instagram pages and things like that. I'll, uh, I'll put all the links in the description below. But if you like the music in this vlog, then please go and check them out on their uh, social media pages. And they're going to say hi and uh, maybe even go and see them live somewhere if you get the opportunity to. Great band. Uh, well worth a listen. So hope you enjoy it. I need a break from this storm I feel my body shaking But the rain keeps on coming I can't control this anymore Now my mind is broken Why are my eyes still open? I'm just thinking... Well, we kind of parked up in Chelham and walked down through the a high street, I believe, in Chillum, and come out now onto uh, what is the main road, the A28, heading back towards Canterbury Way, but uh, looking for a right-hand turn uh, just off the A28 here, and uh, hopefully get to somewhere that's a little bit more rural. taking the first shot of uh, the day. I was following the footpath around and came across just this farm. Um, and it's nothing phenomenal, but for some reason I just like the scene. Just the, uh, the barn that's quite weathered. Uh, you've got a bit of an outbuilding there that's uh, quite weathered as well. You've got the um, gravel path and roadway that kind of leads you up to it. A uh, very simple shot. ISO 100 F11 uh, for one fifteenth of a second and I used a polarizer which to be honest I don't think was doing a huge amount and uh, a three stop 0.9 Lee soft grad uh, just to bring down the sky, balance out the exposure, um, not bad image, it's probably my first image I've taken for two or three weeks so uh, it's just one to get me eye in. the other 
Found some cover now. Found some cover now. I'm ready to work on something special. Forget your plans, we're on another level now. Another level now. Start to flicker fast And you look down The world stops spinning Follow me now To see the earth beginning fast The earth began so fast And I can see now ah, just walking through this uh, Kind of cornfield At uh, Chillum. Uh, decided there was no one around for miles. Um, so I've got the drone up and just had a little fly over with the drone. Uh, and you could just see the lake um, over in the distance. It was quite nice to get the drone up again. It's not something that I'm um, very confident with. I haven't really flown it that much. Um, so it's always nice to have a have a play with it, have a practice, try and get some footage. Uh, I think this time I tried to record everything in 120 frames a second, which the Mavic Air, the original Mavic Air, can only do in um, 1080p high HD, uh, which to be honest is good enough for me at the moment, I think. Um, I'll have a play with that when I get back and see how that came out. Uh, really been struggling with kind of inspiration really I suppose lately to try and get myself motivated to get out. Had a few few projects going on at home um, during the lockdown period, although I did I have worked all over lockdown. Um, but we had decorators in at, at various points doing the outside of the house painting, um, builders in putting in a nice new patio area and drive for us. Um, so that all that going on. And just really kind of lost inspiration, I suppose, to get out. And then, uh, love him or hate him, I personally really like him, but Thomas Heaton did a, uh, a blog recently about planning and not planning. And his idea was uh, just to, the only level of planning to do is check the weather and pick a path and off you go, which is pretty much what I've done today just to get out. Um, weather's due to be nice. I packed a lightweight jacket. That's it, all my camera gear. Found this circular walk in Chillum uh, via a quick Google search. Put it in the old GPS and here we are. Now I've got no idea what's here, never been here before. Uh, no expectations, no pictures that I'm looking for or keen to get. Um, it's always nice to get an image, but if I don't get any at all, it's, it's getting me out. That's the, the big thing. It was getting me out of my slump that I had. Hopefully it'll just be a kickstart I need to uh, get myself motivated again and get back out. So, let's do a quick refresher course on how to use all my vlogging gear and my camera and drone. And no doubt I'll have to do the same with uh, the computer when I get home and try and remember how to process vlogs. I'm sure we'll get back into it. It's just nice being out, to be honest. It's lovely out here today. It's not too hot, no rain. Uh, it's a bit of cloud cover, so you're in the shade. What more could you want, really? I'm walking down this road alone to find what I've always been told. See my ground and so much more. So watch those leaves blow across the floor. I'm continuing along this path um, that I've been following on the GPS. Um, kind of entered a, a very small wooded area and very quickly came out by this river. Um, by the river, uh, you can just see up here 
I'm not sure what this is, this building, an old mill house or something like that, right by the river and uh, a nice bridge over the river. Um, water's lovely and clear. There's a bit of reflection off the water. Um, light is not fantastic, but I thought it's a nice scene. I'll, I'll try and take an image, see what it comes out like. So it's ISO 100. I stuck with F11 with a circular polarizer and a three stop grad. It's given me an exposure time of uh, it's about 1.3 seconds. Uh, so it might smooth the water out slightly. Um, it's a lovely little scene. footpath, the bridal way that I'm supposed to be following, uh, is apparently closed due to the COVID conditions because two metre distancing cannot be followed. There's not a soul around, but uh, I'm guessing, I suppose if it's someone coming in the opposite direction, um, that's why they've closed it. So uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do now. Well, I'm uh, basically now just following the footpath back that I came on. Um, looking at the route, there's a possibility that I might be able to nip across another um, pathway and get onto the trail um, a little further ahead, which would skip out the bit that's closed off. Um, at this point, there's no guarantee that the bit that I'm looking at won't be closed off. Uh, it would have been all too easy just to walk through the barrier and carry on, but uh, you know, these precautions are put there, I suppose, for our benefit. So. That's what I'm doing. I'm uh, going back the way I came and hopefully trying to get back on the, the trail um, somewhere further back. But uh, failing that, I'll uh, probably head back into Chillum again and see if we can get any images from, from the village itself. Where I'm actually trying to get to at the moment is um, like the, the, the fishing lake. So I'm thinking in my mind there might be a few images to be had across the lake area. But, uh, not looking good whether we're actually going to make it or not yet. But it's working off a few pounds anyway. I can't escape. It's affecting me in this I struggle. I think I managed to uh, track back to uh, a point that I can cut across and get back onto the, uh, the trail up at Dengewood. But as you can see, this cut through is uh, really, really overgrown. And I think I'm being eaten alive by mosquitoes. Jeez. And we'll probably get to the top and find out that it's still closed anyway, but I'm going to carry on and find out. Well, I made it through the uh, cut through and I'm back on the uh, trail up at Dengewood. As you can see, they got this road that they are just starting to lay. Uh, it goes all the way through uh, Dengewood, and if I turn around up here, uh, you can actually see there is some workmen up there uh, actually laying the road. So I don't actually want to walk down it. Um, it just looks like a, almost like a sandy base that they've laid down at the moment. Maybe they're doing, redoing the footpath. Um, so, once again, it looks like I'm going to have to go back the way I came and uh, try another cut through. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but uh, I managed to get a path which actually leads us to the lake, uh, which is on this path straight ahead of us. So, uh, I'll carry on and see if there's any photo opportunities worth hanging around for. Because these mosquitoes are having a field day at the moment. I just wish I had a voice to say how much you really meant to us all. You had enough of all this pain, then you lost in a foul. 
Well, that was a little disappointing after all that. Um, managed to find like, a couple of lakes. They're not, um, not exactly picturesque. Um, they got this green fencing all around, and there's a few fishermen out on the lake fishing, which is obviously uh, what it's here for. But I just thought there might be um, an image or two, but from what I've seen, it doesn't look particularly picturesque at all. Um, doesn't do anything for me. So what I'm going to do is probably head back now. Uh, in the Chillum itself um, and see whether or not we can find an image in Chillum. Um, it was quite a nice church there. It was very um, old buildings and things. So we might find an image. If not, then uh, I'll make a decision from there what I'm going to do. Um, but for now, I'll just follow the footpath back across the train track back to, uh, back to Chillum. Now that um, walk back was a lot longer than I thought. I made it back to the car and thankfully I had enough stuff in the car to uh, brew myself a cup of coffee. So um, just sitting here, a cup of coffee uh, before I decide where I'm going to head to from here. Unfortunately, because of a couple of pathways, bridleways and that that were actually closed on my route that I was going to do today. Um, I was a bit disappointed with the locations I did find, but um, I had no expectations, so it was still nice to get out. And um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do from here, whether I'm going to stay around here or um, head off home. Well, I've had me a uh, cup of coffee, and uh, it's, what, 25 in the evening. I've got work at 4, 4.30 in the morning, something like that, so I think I'm going to Call this a day, jump in the car, head back home, uh, unless I decide that I'm going to head somewhere else on the way home, but uh, otherwise I think a uh, bit of a disappointing vlog um, really, but it was still nice to get out, but um, there you go, that's how it goes sometimes I suppose. Thanks very much for watching, as I mentioned before, um, if you liked the music throughout this video then you know, please look at the links in the description below from the band. Argyle and uh, all their links will be in the description so below. Once again thanks for watching please consider subscribing, um, leave a comment, all that stuff and I'll uh, see you again when I get out soon. Cheers!